Hello there guys and gals, the Welsh Hunter here, back with yet another 100% achievement and trophy guide, and this time we are getting it all in, the Isle Tide Hotel. This was developed by Wales Interactive and Interflix Media, and was published once again by the ever-fantastic Wales Interactive. Uh, you can pick this up now for around £15.74 slash $19.99. Now, welcome, yes then, to yet another Wales Interactive Classic FMV we in this one, uh, basically, we have to, this Isle Tide Hotel opens up for three days every three years and, you know, some whole weird, crazy cult stuff starts going on and it's, uh, yeah, it all kicks off. So, with this guide, just like my previous ones, uh, with any FMV guides, it's basically going to be an all-written solution. So, obviously, what you're going to see is uh, the first playthrough Every choice will obviously, because there may sometimes be two or three rows of choices, obviously what you're going to see and what you need to do is obviously follow the list down rather than across. So, you know, that'll all make sense when you have a look. Two quick notes as well. Um, so basically after completing one of the playthroughs, you will then be able to use the RB slash R1 button, obviously whatever you're playing on, to skip any previously seen scene. Um, now, when you do use the future, uh, sometimes, now what you'll see from playthroughs 2 to 10 is it'll say back sometimes. If you use um, the right bumper, uh, sometimes you may or you may not have the missing back within the text choices that I've put on screen, if that makes uh, sort of sense right there. Um, so just keep pressing the right bumper and that'll be fine. If there is no back option within the text, don't worry about it. Also, when you are at the main menu, go to settings, go to streamer mode, and make sure to pause choices. That'll just make uh, make everything a lot easier for you. Otherwise, as you can see, um, you will obviously start from the left and go down, and then obviously onto the next row, which would be on the right or whatever, and then go down again. Uh, so again, hopefully, I've put this into a sort of nice, neatly condensed guide so that you can just pause the video um, I've put everything in sort of 30 second in increments as it were, so it'll obviously be playthrough one, and then if you have a look in the timestamps, it'll be playthrough one continued, playthrough one continued until we get to playthrough two, etc. You will need eight, uh, effectively eight full playthroughs and two partial playthroughs at the end, which should come in potentially roughly around six to eight hours, something like that. So... Yeah, there we go then, guys and gals. So hopefully you will just be able to follow along lovely. And um, I have tried to do this the best way that I possibly can. This part here at the end of the first playthrough does get a little bit confusing. So obviously just be totally aware. If you've got any problems, let me know in the comments section below. Otherwise, thank you so much for watching. I hope the guy helps. Big shout out to all my Patreon supporters and YouTube members. And I'll see you in the next one. Big love!
check the mic and make sure it sound right, boys. Boy. 